Hey there. So this is the fiber laser machine that I built. Before it was a fiber laser, it was a plasma. This is the plasma that I used. It's a copy of the Hypertherm uh, PowerMax 105. So this is a copy of it, it's a Chinese one. And I wasn't happy about the quality of the cuts with plasma cutting. So I studied about <laughs> a half a year about uh, fiber lasers. So, uh, and after that, after that I confirmed with uh, all the engineers that I've spoken to, that I could actually connect the fiber laser to the same controller that I use. And I'm using um, an Acorn, Acorn board. It's an Acorn uh, four axis board with the plasma THC of Acorn Centroid. It's a kit. Uh, controller come with the, the THC and I was able to connect the fiber laser to the same controller with the uh, possibility to use the THC with the fiber laser. Now with the fiber laser, I'm not using the arc to measure the distance. I'm using a capacitance sensor that is inside the fiber laser head. And it transmits uh, the data to this amplifier and the amplifier is sending the voltage to the TAC. So this is the bed I still need to do uh, to replace this bed. This is, was the bed for the plasma, but the laser doesn't need a water bed. So I need to replace it. And this is the fourth axis, fourth and fifth, even though this is only a, a four axis controller. So this is the Y axis, Y3 as I call it. <clears throat> when I'm using the, the rotary pipe uh, option, the gantry doesn't move. So it doesn't move back and forth. So I disable the Y on those X on the, on the gantry and this, is, and this Y is working. So yeah, I still need to do an adjustable front chuck here that I already have the design one for it. Still waiting for the parts for it. So I'm going to replace that. And this is the Rekus, Rekus RFL C 2000. So it's a Rekus one, two, uh, two kilowatts, 2000 kilowatts. Two kilowatts, 2000 watts, <laughs> I'm sorry. And this is the chiller. It's a Henley Chilo, Henley 2000, and I'm using, uh, and the laser needs some gas to do the cuts. It can cut with uh, oxygen, nitrogen, and air, depending on what you're trying to cut. So I'm uh, mostly cutting carbon steel, so I can cut it with a compre compressor, compressed air, or oxygen, but with the compressed air, when you're cutting thicker stuff, it always leaves a little bit of dross. And also you need like a big uh, specific fiber laser uh, air compressor that can go about 15 bar and I don't have it and it's really expensive. So I decided to cut only with uh, oxygen. So this is the two ox oxygen. Uh, this is just manual regulator. So yeah. This is the machine.
Thank you.